<sighs> it is good to be back. It's been a while, guys. I am currently sitting here at the beginning of Adirondack Lodge Road, and it's midnight because I'm going to be sunrising Cascade. I know that that intro, it was either super dramatic and beautiful, um, or it was me inside of a cloud inversion the entire time because driving in to the high peaks it being a full moon you can tell if you look in the distance you got the moon there right but look you can see all of the clouds forming over the high peaks it said it's supposed to be a clear night like all that over there right but you know these mountains being what the heck they are freaking tall creating their own weather systems. So we're gonna drive to the uh, Cascade Trailhead. I was gonna sleep in my car in between um, the two lakes, Cascade Lakes. However, uh, I just noticed that they blocked off the road that goes down in between them. So I'm gonna, unfortunately, have to sleep in my car at the trailhead of Cascade. It's gonna be cold tonight. It's going down to zero, which means there's gonna be no temperature outside because it's gonna be zero degrees. However, that's not actually what that means and I'm just being stupid now. Uh, summer temperature is supposed to be right around minus 12 to minus 15. According to the weather charts, it's gonna have 30 mile an hour winds, which is gonna make it like a minus 40 degree wind chill. And uh, if there's a cloud inversion, well, we're gonna be in a cloud and the sunrise is not actually gonna happen. The last high peak that I climbed actually was Cascade back in August, I did Cascade and Porter to end my journey of climbing the, uh, the high peaks this uh, this last summer because I became a 46er and so after me really being in my prime I went into Cascade and Porter as quick as I could and if you know of a faster time than what I'm about to say please post it below but from my car beginning of trailhead I ran up did Cascade and Porter and went back to my car in an hour and 39 minutes, all right? If you think you can beat that, post your time below and you're gonna get mad props and I wanna hike with you, okay? So hour and 39 minutes is the time to beat. You know, trailhead, the trailhead, cascade, and porter. So enough talking, let's, let's, let's get to the trailhead because I'm tired and I should have been in bed like an hour ago. I do need to say one more thing though. We are going to have a guy hike with us and he's from Albany, he's driving up from Albany, and yeah, he's a fellow subscriber, and we're gonna do this together. Here we are. There we are, right there. As you can tell, there's no clouds there, but there's plenty of clouds that direction. And then it stops. You know what's between here and there? Well, you guessed it, a mountain. I got all my stuff back here in the car. It's my sleeping bag. It's a zero degree down bag from backcountry. This is not going to be the video where I talk about the gear that I use or anything. This is just going to be simply the first hiking video of the winter season. In my sleeping bag, current air temperature is minus three degrees, but it's not really clearing. All right, let's go to bed. I'll see you in like three seconds. Oh man. All right, I'm pretty much set up and ready to go. Not gonna be taking much, just mainly a backpack. I saw Cody pull up about 15 minutes ago. Uh, that's who we're hiking with today, by the way, Cody. Uh, with the clouds, man. We're either gonna be in the clouds or we're gonna be above them. The thing is these types of clouds, honestly, the higher mountains could be above the clouds and cascade it being basically just above 4,000 feet. It could still be inside of the clouds, which means this is an undercast day and we're on the wrong high peak. Good morning. Good morning. And they're actually, you can see peaks above the clouds. You so, think so? Yeah. That was coming up 73. All right, well look, I'm I'm willing to make this, I'm willing to change this if you want. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm willing to hike something different if that means it's possible to be undercast. Because at this point, if we're gonna take that risk and you wanna go for an undercast, we can hike whatever you want. 
I'm totally down. Not not Marcy though, because no, that's 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 it's too late for that now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm down. Yeah. So series of events, man. Just one after another. The clouds are so low. We don't want to take a chance that we are having an undercast day. Like they are so low. Like you can tell just right from the video. And we can clearly see that Cascade is in the clouds. So we're gonna take our business elsewhere and we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit and we're gonna go dead center high peaks and we're gonna probably climb something like Algonquin. It's freaking four in the morning and I just wanna be on top of a mountain. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know what to do now. Oh, we're gonna get socked in no matter what. Dude, oh my word. You just, you just wanna go back? Might just just well. send it and just see what happens? Yeah. Might as well. <sighs> okay, alright. Upon further analysis, it is evident that the other high peaks are not in the clouds and they are out of the clouds. In fact, they have their own little cloud inversions on top of them. Uh, and they're in a completely different weather system than uh, what Cascade is in. Because I mean, these clouds look low, but they only look low right here. They're not low, you know, five miles that direction. They're only low over here and then like over there. And so it's different everywhere you go. So I think we're just gonna get the Cascade and we're just gonna send it and just, uh, just hope for the best, I guess. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. This is Cody. Cody, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Cody. Uh, I just turned 28. Uh, I'm from Mechanicville, New York. All right. Let's do this. It is 5 a.m. sharp. Cody has watched my videos before. The trail, the summit is about two and a half miles. And uh, if we could do that in an hour and a half, that would be uh, optimal. So, we'll see what happens. All right, so the trail's pretty broken. And this will be like, I don't know, the third or fourth time I've done Cascade. How about you, is this your second time? Second time. It's looking like we're still in a cloud. Kind of like all around us. But it's nice and blue. Up there. Woo. So I'm really hoping this, I think it's looking good. Always stick to the first plan. We wasted 20 minutes trying to figure that out. Yeah, you can tell by my headlight. Then we're in a cloud. But uh, it's nice and blue that way. Check this out. That's the moon, man. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know what it is, but this trail seems much shorter than I remember. We're at the uh, Porter turnoff, that direction. So we're going to Cascade. Can you tell the snow's a little deep considering the pervy sign is that high? Normally, it'd be up here. Summit's right up there. This time to layer up, the winds look like they were whipping. Welcome back, Jonathan. Woo! All right, let's do this. Again, I need to apologize about the wind. I know it's gonna get windy, but suck it up.
Just so that I got here like 10 minutes before. You got up on the snake? Yeah. yeah but uh, there were still a lot of clouds up, but I kind of got a time lapse of it. I mean, I couldn't get a good picture of I was like, I had to face the clouds when I saw the snake. I tried to get one, but you know. I, I, <laughs> I did. I, I for sure thought we were going to miss it. Yeah, I mean, that was so much quicker. Yeah, it was pretty quick. I was just hoping I didn't slow you down. Nah, nah, dude, we're all good. We all made it. We all made it. My mask is frozen, my body's frozen. Uh, it's like minus 35. Guys, welcome back to the Adirondack videos. You know how much I love doing this. This is this is such a beautiful first hike. Uh, thank you, Cody, for coming. And uh, I'm not ending the vlog here. I have some stuff I'm gonna talk to you guys about once I get back to the car after this. Head of the Lake Placid. I hope you can hear me with the wind again. Sorry about that. Hope this year I'm gonna upgrade a lot of things over the past few months you guys have had such an awesome like reaction to my videos I've been so thankful and grateful for uh, your response uh, to the 46er video uh, to my, in my journey but guys listen there's a lot of things I'm so excited to tell you about I'm not gonna tell you till my next video I'm gonna try to do white face I'm gonna try to do Benny's root canal but again yeah we're up here on Cascade you guys rock so I don't think I've decided to actually come up here All right, back to the intersection. I will not be going to Porter today. Sorry, guys. And he's not either. <laughs> so, Porter, whatever. See you later. And now I'm in the parking lot in downtown Lake Placid because um, I actually completely forgot to continue filming. So it's 1 p.m. <laughs> I just don't know what happened. I just got carried away. So uh, the hike, wow, that was absolutely breathtaking, beautiful. I'm so glad we just decided to stick to the plan. Uh, but you guys are great. I'm going to have some much longer and detailed ones coming up here of maybe Benny's Root Canal up Lower Wolfjaw and Whiteface. I don't really know. It's all kind of tentative. But uh, in the meantime, guys, keep looking out for that. I really appreciate all of you. And I have so much content that I'm looking forward to this year. Uh, that I'm going to mention in the next video. So I have a lot of things to talk about in the next video, guys. So I uh, look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I'm Jonathan Zaharik, and I will see you guys soon. Yeah, you like ran over your trekking poles. Oh, did I? No, look, mind you. <laughs> you completely forgot them. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, that's why I swerved. I saw them. I was hit them pulling in. <laughs> thank God. <laughs>